the Philippines is charting a bold new course. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has revived a pioneering initiative one his father started decades ago. The self-reliant defense posture program is back. Its mission? To empower the armed forces of the Philippines to design, develop, and deploy weapons made by Filipinos for Filipinos. At the heart of this renaissance is innovation from the ground up. Students and researchers from Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology, are stepping up, showcasing designs that could change how we defend our shores. One of their key proposals, the Expendable Aerial Vehicle for Reconnaissance and Assault Mission, or EVRAM. Two variants are in the works, both designed to be affordable, lightweight, and mass-produced. The EVRAM Minim, a small, battery-powered drone with a 20-kilometer range, built for surveillance or targeted strikes. And the D-EVRAM, a delta-wing drone with a 100-kilometer reach capable of carrying an RPG-7 warhead. Both use foam board, 3D printed parts, and off-the-shelf components proof that lethal capability doesn't have to come with a heavy price tag. But the skies aren't the only battlefield. Also unveiled, the Sidla Canaway, a proposed unmanned surface vessel under the Philippine Autonomous Littoral Interdiction Drone, or PALID program. Built from locally sourced materials, it boasts a 650 kilogram displacement. 48-hour endurance, and the ability to carry surveillance equipment or explosives. These innovations aren't just science projects. They're strategic answers to a modern threat. Swarming, low-cost drones on air and sea could become the great equalizer against far larger forces. The future of Philippine defense is homegrown, and it's already taking shape.